Now let's look at a practical example to use the Nernst equation. We want to calculate the equilibrium cell potential at 25 degrees C or 298 Kelvin for the following reaction process. And we also want to know is the process spontaneous or not. And the, the assumption is that activity coefficients are 1. Activity coefficients uh, are 1. Okay? So for the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction, for this reaction, anodic means oxidation, which means losing electron would be for cobalt solid to give out electron to form cobalt 2 plus. Okay? And uh, based uh, on the standard electrode potential table, the E0 standard electrode potential for this electrode, cobalt 2 plus cobalt, or for this redox pair would be minus 0.277 volt. Okay? That's for the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction. On the other hand, for the cathodic or reduction half cell reaction, obtain the electron, so the half cell reaction would be iron 2 plus combined with two electrons to form iron metal. Okay? And then similarly from the standard electrode potential show table, you would get the E0 would be minus 0 0.440 volt. Okay? And then the overall or so-called full cell um, reaction equilibrium potential would be E0 is, remember, it's the standard electrode potential for the cathodic half cell reaction minus that for the anodic half cell reaction. And the cathodic would be for iron would be cathodic is for iron would be minus 0 0.440 minus okay and anodic would be for the standard electrode potential minus 0 0.277 volt and then minus minus become positive and then the end result for the equilibrium cell potential would be minus 0.163 volt minus 0.136 volt because it's negative from what we learned before the equilibrium cell potential is negative it means the process and written from left to right is not spontaneous at standard condition 25 degrees C, 1 atm, and 1 mole of 4 kilogram of water for both iron 2 plus and cobalt 2 plus. So the process is not spontaneous at standard condition. In another way, it is to say this process is spontaneous for the reverse direction under standard condition. Okay? So anyway, the number of electrons transferred in this process. Remember, cobalt ion gives out two electrons, while ion 2 plus also combines with two electrons. So the number of electrons transferred in this overall electrochemical reaction would be 2. N equals 2, 2. So the activity for pure solid, which is cobalt, and pure solid ion are taken as unity. That's for simplicity and normally we do it. As a result, the reaction quotient. Reaction quotient is activity for products divided by activity for reactant. The quotient would be concentration for product point CO2 plus divided by standard concentration. Okay divided by iron 2 plus concentration as reactant divided by the standard concentration. So the C0 and C0 would cancel out. The reaction quotient would be 0.15 mole divided by 1.94 mole. And this give, give us 
a smaller value of 0 0.077 that gives us the so-called reaction quotient or Q. With Q and the standard cell potential, now we can calculate equilibrium cell potential would be equal to standard cell potential minus by using another form of the Nernst equation for 25 degrees C. 0 0.0592 volt divided by N, the number of electron transfer times log with a base of 10 for quotient Q. And then plug in the number E0 becomes minus 0.163 volt. Okay, 0 0.0562 2 volt right still right down okay and as we said in this process the number of electron transferred for each atom of ion produced would be 2 and times log with a base of 10 for point quotient point zero seven seven and that gives us the result here point zero 3 3 volt okay minus minus become positive and uh, we are going to get the final voltage final electrochemical cell equilibrium voltage would be minus 0 0.130 volt it is minus means the process from cobalt to cobalt 2 plus from iron 2 plus to iron metal is because the negative is not spontaneous under the specified condition. The process going from left to right is not spontaneous under the specified condition, which is 0.15 molar per liter for cobalt and 1.95 um, mole per liter of uh, iron 2 plus. On the other hand, the reverse reaction going from iron metal to iron 2 plus, going from cobalt 2 plus to cobalt metal, in this process would be spontaneous because for the original reaction the electrical potential is negative, but for the reverse reaction the electrical potential would continue to be. Um, positive, which means the reverse reaction would be spontaneous.